Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel British Express. So today we are going to discuss about the use of bent on. Where I use bent on? Bent on is used when I have decided to do something and I want to explain it. How to define? Firstly, look at the role first. The role is firstly we write down the subject. As a helping verb, I will put here is, am, and are, then went on, then we use first form of the verb and we put ing with it and object it. Let's have an example. Suppose he had decided to marry Rahul. So, how can I tell that? Like C is bent on marrying Rahul. Second, they have decided to do something, so they are, they are bent on going to Delhi, like they have made a plan to go to Delhi, it means they had two or three places in their mind, but now they decided finally going to Delhi. We can also prepare some negative sentences which we haven't decided. Like to prepare negative sentences. We need a helping verb here and the helping verb is is a mar. I will put not after helping verb. Like firstly subject helping verb, then not, bent on, v first, ing and then object with it. Like I have decided to do not to do something, like he is not went on going outside. They are not bent on playing. I can also prepare some interrogative sentences. Like if I want to ask someone that what they have decided to prepare some interrogative sentences, we have a different structure to prepare interrogative. As I have already told you that when a sentence starts with kya, I use helping verb first. So helping verb, then subject. Bent on, V first, ing with it, and an object. At the end, we use a question mark. Like, are you bent on killing her? Age C bent on becoming a singer. So, did you get my point? Let me revise you by doing all revision. 
we can have some examples of affirmative, negative and interrogative sentences like I am bent on teaching you. Second, they are not bent on singing. Is she bent on going outside? So, if we just discuss about that, it is called affirmative, it is called negative and it is called interrogative sentences. Okay? So, it was enough for today. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel. Vote us. Keep watching. Keep learning. Thank you very much.